Hello, lovely people. Today, we are going to show you St. Benedict's Egyptian world that we built. So, I'm William, and I'm joined by Anthony. Hello there. So, but first, we are going to talk about the tombs. So, this is kind of the Valley of Kings, and that's where all the kings were buried, um, if they didn't have their own pyramids. Um, so we'll just start off with the pyramid over here. Um, this is pretty much where the rich people well, the well-known people got buried, and if you weren't well-known, you just got buried. Probably just some Normally, yeah. scrubby hole. So here lies one of the kings and a queen. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the graveyard. Yeah, it's the temples are pretty big on the inside, and there's lots of hieroglyphics, and they normally keep their treasures and such um, so with their dead body. So if you're wondering how we got these textures, we're using a texture pack for ancient Egypt so it's easy to build. But yeah, um, we hope you enjoy our world. And yeah. here we have um, the main creators of the underworld, which is Samantha and Ashling. Hello. Which kind of talk Hi. about the underworld with us. Um, and But yeah, so um, first question, how long did it, guys, did it take you guys? Oh, it oh, took it ages. so long. We weren't allowed to use TNT. So we had to clear out a whole room just by hand. Uh, so it's at, it's down the um, hole, down the hole at the end of this tunnel here. And the underworld probably isn't a real thing, but it was largely recognized in Egyptian mythology. So here we are. So yeah. <coughs> I mean, they got every single one of these blocks. Must have taken ages, eh? Yeah. Yes. It did. It did. So how long? Um, how many people were involved in this project? Uh, three. Three. So yeah. Ash, another Ashling who is not here today. She's in New York. <laughs> and so this is the room of the 42 judges. So there are 42 chairs right around here. And so when you die, the Egyptians believe that you came down to this room and you were judged by 42 judges. And Osiris, the king of the dead. And he would sit here? Yes. yes. That's his throne. On his throne. And, and that's a mural of him on the ground there. And if you see behind the throne, there's a scale. scales. So when you died, your heart would be weighed against a feather of truth. Yeah, so if your heart wasn't, was heavier than the feather, then you'd be eaten by a dog. And you'd cease to exist. Cool. So, um, any last comments about the build? Uh, it took a long time. <laughs> cool. Thanks. So here we have the village, and the main build of the village, Maddie, is going to talk about it. Hi. So this is the Almedina. So how many people did it take to build the village? Five, and it took a really long time. Cool. Um, so is Dora Medina a real place in Egypt? Yes, it's right right now to this day is just it's basically the best ruins of a village in Egypt. So that's why it's pretty famous. And I also heard that Egyptians slept on the roof. Is that true? Yes, because um, lots of their houses. Um, were quite small, so they had to build extra rooms on the roofs, or just sleep on the roof without really anything, just like a veranda. Cool. So, any comments about the build? Uh, it was interesting. I mean, like it was hard to come up with a, a, an idea for like the veranda things. Cool. Um, Thanks. So. And we are here in with the temple, which is actually just outside the village, if you might have saw it. And it this is a huge temple built by Astin, Astin, Palo, and I think Renzo, was it? Yeah, and maybe Josh as well. So yeah, shout out to them. I think they did a really good job making it look really Egyptian-like, and um, the resource pack does help, but obviously it was mostly the superior building. It is a pretty big build. I would ask them how long it took, but they're not here, sadly, so... Oh, yeah. I would have said a very long time and probably a lot of effort put into it. Um, but, yeah, so it's pretty, like, bare on the inside, but it's a really nice build, and I think it looks really great. Yeah. So so here we have a victory monument that you might have noticed when we were walking up to the uh, temple. And this was used in a little treasure hunt we did after all of... Like the whole build was completed, um, we did a little treasure hunt, 
And that was kind of like our, um, I would have said, reward for building it. And it was really fun. We, we had PvP on, and it was uh, quite fun, and people were using different strategies and stuff to hide it. So there were, um, I believe, five clay blocks hidden around the world, and you had to mine them or pick up chests with them and all that. So you may see chests around the world with, like, stuff inside them. But, yeah, um, that was pretty fun. And we will see you guys at the farm. So this is the farm, but before we head into the farm, we noticed that there was these two statues here. I'm not sure it's um which me and Thomas built. I'm not sure exactly what they did, but they were statues of people like Egyptian looking maybe gods sitting on rocks. So yeah. Cool. So how long did this take you, Will? I don't know. Probably two like a week probably. Would you consider it a hard project or was it easy for you? Um, it's not really sure because once you've modelled one, it's just a matter of copying onto the other thing. It was definitely hard to get the measurements of the actual block they're sitting on correct by making filling it up by like four by two and so on. Getting the measuring correct. Cool. And now over we'll go to the uh, farm and Tyler, one of the main girls in the farm, will talk about it. Hi, well this is the farm obviously and well I think it looks really good. I mean a lot of hard effort has been put into this and it turned out really great. I think. So how many people were used to build bills? Oh, heaps of people. I think 12 people did this. It took a long time to build, tweaking and perfecting little bits. Cool. And so what would be your favourite part about the farm? <clears throat> oh, I think everything. Like, everything turned out really good. The water streams looked really good because they took a long time to plan out and the reason why they built it um, right next to the Nile is because when it floods the water streams fill up and it um, waters all their crops and stuff. Cool. Okay. Any so, last comments about the build? Um, I'd just like to say have a shout out to all those people who helped me build this awesome build. So what exact food did they eat though? Oh, Practically anything they could find. Wheat, melons, fruit, animals, everything. Cool, thanks. So here are the boats that you might have noticed just next to the farm. This was built by uh, Ben. And ben? he did this all by himself, which I think is really cool. He didn't have any help. And this is on the River Nile, um, which flows through Egypt. Yeah. Um, this, I'm not sure how long it maybe took him, about two weeks-ish. Yeah, I would have said. But um, sadly, he's not here. He's in Australia, so we can't really talk to him about talk it. Talk to him. So. But yeah, well, I think they look really Egyptian-like, and as you can see on the inside, they look uh, pretty good. You know, they look like boats, got your little driver, boom, boom, you know, all that kind of stuff. Boom, boom. Yeah, thanks. So right behind us, we have the Sphinx. Yep. Boom. And we are joined by one one of the main creators, William. Hi. Well, so I can't really be a main creator. Well, I could be. There's only two people that made it, me and Kelvin, who could not join us because he's in another country. Um, so this is the Sphinx. It is a massive statue. It's actually not that big compared to the pyramids, but in size, we made it look quite big. Um, as you can see, there's the nose up there, which in present time would not be there because somehow the Egyptians were like hey let's just lose a nose and so they lost his nose and so yeah this w could hold treasures lots of treasures so they had tons of traps probably well not as much a few a bit less amount of traps than in a pyramid and I think it actually held one of the pharaohs um, yeah um, unfortunately the caves and whatever are blocked up oh I think <laughs> <laughs> I think you found them, <laughs> but yeah, they they were supposed to, they were blocked up um, by accident, I think. So thanks for that. Um, so yeah, this chest was for the treasure hunt. Don't know why it's a trap chest. There's no trap. Maybe it's just to scare people. This is just a head because we weren't really bothered filling it in because there was no real point. And so yeah. Um, so did you like doing this build? Yes, yeah, so it was really fun because actually designing it was actually a lot harder than I expected. Um, the head was probably the hardest. Um, we had to end up blowing up the first one, but this <laughs> looks a lot better. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can see the snake <laughs> up the top. Yeah, there. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it's really good. I really enjoyed building it. Any yeah. last comments about the Sphinx? Um, 
Sphinx is cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. thanks. So, thanks yeah. for that. And we are here with the pyramids. Um, there's actually three of them, but we're looking at this main one for now. Um, those that one over there was built by Max and Frankie, and that one right next to us was built by Eva and Jessica. But we are with the creators of this one, um, Alistair and Sam. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? So. Uh, how long did it take you to build this, uh, this? Most of the time. Yeah, most of the time, around about six or seven weeks. Um, so, uh, as you can see here, um, you have a trap. So, um, the Egyptians made their traps um, so it would be like you thought you would be safe, but actually you wouldn't be. Uh, so, uh, as this trap shows, like you step on the pressure plate and uh, the door closes, but it doesn't actually stay like that for long. Uh, we measured it so that the um, pistons would go off if you're sprinting or if you're walking. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it! Oh, no, make I it. guess you can't make it, it's rigged. It's rigged, this game is rigged! Yep, yes it is. And you would have got prizes. Not very yeah. good prizes, but yeah. prizes. But you have so, yeah. was it just you two involved in this build, or uh, did you get some other people to help? Uh, no, it was just, just, us. just yeah. us. And this is a trap, and it's mm. a good trap. Oh, damn! That's uh, trap, guys. I really thought that was amazing. <laughs> it's not just straight up, it pushes you off. Exactly. Yeah. And then this is just like a long way up to the main yeah. room. Arrows. And so, yeah, That's prizes again, and the main room. Oh, fancy! Yeah. So, what were pyramids used for? Okay. They were used for burying, um, what, pharaohs? just putting pharaohs in them. Yeah, pharaohs like, or. Um, <laughs> King, the main ones. Yeah, like main people really. Um, uh, some pyramids were built for like honoring the gods and things. That, um, but the one that we built uh, today was uh, well, not today. But um, the, the one that we built here is um, it's dedicated to the pharaohs. Jeez, guys, so many traps. Just, just no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, any last comments about the build? Uh, it was fun. It was fun and took us. Fun. Yeah. It took us fun. Okay. It took us a fun time. And thanks guys. See you guys. Okay, so um thanks for watching I guess and this was our whole creation world. Again the texture pack we used was an ancient Egyptian texture pack, just so we can get those um fancy looking textures on the hieroglyphics. Okay, and shout out to everyone that helped with the builds room eleven and twelve. I think you guys did an amazing job. So yeah, I've been William. And I've been Anthony. And thanks for watching.